Hey everybody, Rebecca here. And now I still like to mess around with NFC tags whenever I get a, a chance. And I was out on Reddit just looking around the other day and somebody had some really cool ideas for having some NFC tags that are built into some of these cards that we have already uh, trigger an event for you. So for instance, um, if you live somewhere where you need to use a transit card all the time, you, um, they may have an NFC tag built in and you could scan that tag with your phone and have it open up the website with all of your um, transportation schedules in it. So I just thought that was so cool. So I got uh, out all of our cards and, you know, it turns out that these uh, credit cards or debit cards that have that tap to pay in it, oftentimes that is just an NFC tag. Um, and so don't spend a whole lot of time with this if you can't get it to work. I had three different tags to experiment with. This Kroger, Kroger um, grocery store tap to pay card did not work. Likewise, I have a Prime, Amazon Prime credit card. Uh, with the tap to go, it did not work, but the city card did. So I'm just going to show you the setup. And so what my goal is, is to be able to scan the card um, first, just open up a pop up that tells us it worked and then take me directly to the city uh, website, the city bank website. So uh, it's kind of cool. I mean, you could do, you could trigger any kind of action with it, but that's, that's all I'm going to do right now. And then it would be even better if I could um, maybe down the road, figure out how to not only just take me to the website, but go ahead and log me in too. And that way we could see all our account information that goes with the card. So, but just some really cool ideas. So experiment around, you may have several cards out there, uh, old hotel keys and things like that, that have got these NFC tags uh, built into the card itself. So um, very, very cool. Uh, and there's different apps you can use to read the card. Um, it may not show you much information. So I have a feeling that they've locked locked these down like this Kroger card and my uh, Amazon Prime that didn't work. They're probably set up to where, you know, it's pretty well locked to where it won't respond to anything except for, you know, their their pay system. But I like using Tasker uh, for a lot of these um trigger events so you in tasker whenever you first open it this is a pay account on android and whenever you first open it it's going to take you into the task section so just i'm going to set up a new task first so i'm going to create and you have to give it a name so for this one i'm just going to call it my um, city city card uh, let's see i'll just get that in there um, pretty quickly so city card and let's see, there we go. Okay, <laughs> um, so city card is created just the name of this of these uh, tasks, and then the task can be made up of many different actions. So I'm going to do the first action is going to be just an alert that will do a pop-up window for us, and you have to name your pop-up window. Uh, let's see, it, it's wanting me to, since my stylus here, let me see if I can just get through this quicker. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to type in the name for the pop-up window, and I'm just going to say, works. Uh, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm going to say works, and then the actual text inside of the pop-up window is just going to say it worked. You know, whatever you want to put there. Success. Good job. It worked. Okay. So we've got that first action done. I'm not going to do any of these other optional things in here. Of course, you could set your times for how long you want that display and so forth. So that's a, that's our first task. We can we can test that task down here by doing the play button. And so that's what a pop-up window looks like um, in Tasker. So, so far, so good. And then my second action is going to be under net. We want it to browse a URL. There are many different ways you could do this, I think. But I'm going to go in and just browse a URL. We'll, we'll go to the HTTPS website so https colon slash slash and then the name of the website that i want to go to i believe is just city uh, citi.com and that's the generic website related to our credit card 
All right, so that looks good. I'm not going to worry about any of these other default options. We're going to go back and um, okay that pop up. And then, so this looks good. Let's go ahead and test both actions now. So we're going to do the play button down here. And there's our first pop-up window coming up. And then hopefully after a few seconds, it will then take me into a browser where city.com is going to display. Okay, excellent. So it looks like that's going to work. Again, later I may try to go in and figure out how to sign in and log into our account, all that good stuff. So I'm not sure if Tasker would be able to do that for me or not, but... Um, I'll let you know if I get that figured out or if anybody has any tips. All right, so with that, I think I'm good to close that window. Let's let's come back into Tasker. And so that gets our uh, task set up. But now we want something to trigger that task. And let's see, we uh, it's down here at the bottom, the city card. I found that um, the trick to this application, always make sure whenever you get something set the way you like it, do this check mark up here. Oops. Do the check mark, and then that way it um, confirms that. All right, so we've got our task. Now I'm going to go back to profile because the profiles are the triggers of how this is going to work. And so I've been, again, messing around with some of these uh, credit cards already. But let me show you from scratch. We're going to go in and add a new profile, and we're going to create one on our own. And we want it to be triggered with an event. And the type of event, we're going to go to net, to NFC tag. And then this is really cool. I had to do some digging in here because I was using another application to try to figure out what the ID was and, and, and uh, paste that in. And it wouldn't work. But lo and behold, I didn't even need to do that because over here, their search button um, will then allow you to scan the card and so it's going to figure out you know help you figure out that um, ID for you automatically all right and there I'm getting a couple of actions happen because I've already done that and it was actually uh, it, it's actually doing a different task there that I did have uh, where I had set it up previously but let me um, uh, let's see we'll come back to tasker so just just be aware of that search button. Um, <clears throat> it's going to help you figure out what the ID is. Now all of my cards, I went to try to do the same thing with content. It's not seeing any any content information from the card, but it did get an ID. Uh, it has nothing to do with the account ID. It's just a built-in ID number that goes with that particular NFC tag. So um, so with that, I'm going to go back. We're going to make sure that that's this new one, that this new one is okay. And so we've, we've just added that profile and it wants to know right away, well, what, whenever this profile gets activated, what task do you want to kick off? And so now I want to kick off my city card that we've just set up. So I hope this, this makes sense. This, this particular profile is an event. And so when this event gets triggered, it's going to go activate the actions in this city card task. Um, now, I had one here already that I was messing around with, so I'm going to disable that one. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and disable these other two as well because those, those didn't work. Um, and then, again, this, this check mark here is the key to this program. Always make sure you check whenever you're satisfied. Um, and then I think this this looks okay. So whenever this tag gets scanned, it should do the pop-up that tells us it worked and then take me, in this case, it's going to take me to city.com in my browser. And so that is an enabled task, or it's an enabled profile. I've got a few other profiles here. So I think at this point I'm ready to close Tasker. And then um, in my notification bar, this may be different on different phones, but my notification always tells me how many profiles I have um, enabled. And so that means it's always going to be watching for that, uh, that event. So in this case, instead of a date and time triggered event, it's an NFC card triggered event. All right, so now comes our true test. So the phone has to be on... Um, these don't work if your phone is just sitting idle. You have to have your phone on and you have to be logged in on the phone. And so then we're going to scan it just like we would any 
Well, let me show you this one first. This one will scan. I don't know if you could hear that beep. It did scan, but it didn't do anything. So they've got it. Somehow or another, they've got it set up to where it's just, it, you know, it's not going to respond. However, this one, I was really surprised. If we go in and scan it, then there's our pop-up window. And then we'll give it a few seconds. And then here comes the browser. And it did take us to City. Dot com so so it's very very cool so the the tag in this card is now triggering an action and and again you could um, you can play around with tasker there's all different kinds of things you could have that that card do so so if you haven't gone out and purchased uh, some NFC tags I know I've got a box of like 30 of them that I'm just playing with so if you don't have any tags you you've actually have some built in you can't write to it but um, but at least some of them, you might be able to read it. And then based on the ID in that tag, you could have it activate something on your phone. So, But uh, the key to that, again, is Tasker. Tasker is an application on Android that you have to pay for. Um, if you're on an Apple phone, you may be able to uh, do this without any extra apps. Um, but uh, I don't know a whole lot about the, the iPhone uh, side of it. So, um, so look around for other tips and tricks on that one but anyway I just thought that was such a cool idea out there that people are talking about on reddit so um, definitely it's fun to play around with some of these different tools and applications that we have and I just love anything that takes something in our physical environment and causes other things to to trigger and to happen um, so it's very very cool so uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoy this. I've got several videos out there now. I'll try to get them all lumped together in a playlist where you can find them easily. But um, just playing around with NFC tags. So lots of lots of just nerdy fun, <laughs> but I love it. And then uh, ultimately, I have um, got an older video out there where I'm causing an NFC tag to execute some Python code. So look for that one if, if you do any kind of programming at all. Um, it was a lot of fun, and that opens you up to a world of possibilities. So thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.